breaking news first at 10. Hundreds of people forced to evacuate after a carbon monoxide leak at a Midtown apartment building. Hello, I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. The leak sending five people to the hospital, including a firefighter, and killing multiple pets. WREG's Bria Jones joins us live from outside the venue apartment on Central Avenue near Lamar. Bria? Well, Stephanie and Greg residents say that after several hours of being on edge, they have now been alerted by the management here at the complex that the fire department says it is safe to return once the building is secured. Fire trucks lined Central Avenue Tuesday evening after a gas leak forced hundreds of residents at the venue apartments to evacuate. I was at home and the fire alarm just went off. I expected that it would calm down after a little bit, but it didn't. It just kept escalating. According to the Memphis Fire Department, one of their own was one of the first to get sick. The firefighters got inside and one of our firefighters started to feel ill with shortness of breath. Public information officer Quanisha Ward says it was determined there was a carbon monoxide leak affecting between 250 to 300 residents living in the building. It's scary because I had a dog up in there. I would panic. I saw an ambulance taking some of my neighbors away. Four pets died. Five people, including a firefighter, were hospitalized in non-critical condition. It was a carbon monoxide leak. Um, it has been determined that they were doing some work on the boiler um, earlier today, um, so that might be the cause. Waiting outside for hours in the cold, buses were brought in to help people warm. Small groups were led in to retrieve essential items, all while praying for protection for themselves and their homes. Oh God, I can't even explain that. I need to go back and get my medication. We're told the fire department is allowing people to sleep here tonight. However, doors were kicked into to check on the units. Now, so the building has emergency response teams they have brought in to come and secure the property. For now, reporting live in Midtown, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3. Right, that was bad. Sounds like it could have been a whole lot worse. Bria, thanks.